What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome back to Gibraltar United. So let's get into our Champions League group stage campaign yet again. So today's first game is of course Leon away. Very tough game, probably the toughest game in this group. So it's probably good that we're getting it out of the way first. You know, you never want to go into the last two games and have like Leon at home and Chelsea, you know, Leon, I mean Chelsea at home and Leon away, which is probably going to be the most toughest sequence of performances you can get. So it's probably good that we get this one out of the way first. We know we're probably going to drop three points here. So if we lose, it won't be bad. But if we lose by a large margin, I will still be frustrated and annoyed. And if we put up a good fight and still lose, I'll probably still be frustrated because if we put up a fight, that meant we could have won, gone and won the game. So a bit of, tra bit of team news. We have got both of our first choice centre backs out injured. Bakayoko and Mati were both injured during their international duty with the Ivory Coast. So that is a massive, massive miss for us, which means we've got Roma Perez and David Cameron both playing for us in the centre back roles. But apart from that, it is our strongest team, which means Cox is in goal, Armada Perez, Cameron, and Musta make up the back four. Marola, Moens make up our defence mid and centre mid. Attacking midfielders are Hamerli, Sadib Bey, and Moria. And up front, we have Sonogo, the benches for Fana, Dubey, Jesse Clark, Vanucci, Hamza, Pablo dos Santos, and Miro Giselle. So, let's get into this game. For some reason, it, it led me back to this screen. And let's hope that we can get ourselves... I, I would say, you know, a point here would be a really, really good point. A point here would be a point, obviously, more than nothing. So that's, uh, that would be good. Obviously, we want to win this game, but no, it's realistically, we're probably going to lose it. So if we lose by 1-0, 2-0, it probably wouldn't be that bad. Uh, you know, the worst result. So, obviously, I'd rather have Bakayoko. Obviously, we'd rather have our best defender in the team. Yes, I would like Bakayoko instead of David Cameron. Yes, I would. Uh, Roma Perez, Mati. I don't think there's too much between the two, so I don't really mind. You know, Mati picked up an injury. It's like, okay, Roma Perez will come in. That's fine. But with Bakayoko out injured and Mati out injured, it's like, great. <laughs> it's definitely a dip in quality in the centre-back role. But there we go. Starting off the game. First time we've played group stage football, by the way, with our new tactic. Of course, the European campaign for the qualifying was the first time we'd used our new tactic in Europe. So, you know, let's see how we can do. And we almost get the lead. Maria somehow misses two brilliant opportunities back to back there to give us a 1-0 lead against Lyon. Very, very unlucky. And, of course, another injury to the team. Amada's injured, which means Jesse Clark's going to come on and he's going to... Let's have a look, actually. Um... Yeah, Musta's a little bit more comfortable playing right back. So we'll put Jesse Clark at left back and um and uh, Musta at right back. So that's not great. Another injury to the defence. That's the last thing we want. Hopefully it's nothing too long. I mean, Mati and Bakayoko, I should mention, they're only out for two, three weeks. So it's not too bad, which means they're only out for, an, I think, an additional week. And Musta and um, Mati's only out for a few more days. So it's not too bad, their injuries. But you know, it still means they're missing a game. So Leon had a chance there. I didn't really talk about it. I was talking about the the Ivorian centre-backs we have, or two of them out of the three. And Leon is still on the attack, and we need to get this clear, and the highlight just dies out in the end, even though the ball's in our box, pretty much. So, pretty pretty tight game so far. It's been, you know, no clear out and out team is dominating. And here's a chance maybe for us. Sadibe's through, and Sadibe gives us the lead against Leon in the 40th minute of the match. I mean, I don't know how the ball bubbled through to Sadibe, or it bubbled through as far as it did to him. I mean, Muster's ball here is a good ball, but I thought the oncoming defender would have done something, and the fact that he didn't meant that Sadib ended up having a pretty good opportunity at goal. He did really well to get it past the defender trying to put a blocking, and also past the goalkeeper. I mean, the ang there wasn't much of a much of the goal to aim at, so great goal from Sadib Bay and great assist by Becky Muster on that weaker side, obviously. So, 1-0 against Leon. Wow, I did not see this coming. <laughs> I did not see this coming at all. Come on, if we can win this game, I fear no one in this competition. If we, like I said, this is probably the hardest game in the group. So if we win this, the sky's the limit. You know, why, why, the sky's not the limit. I mean, space is the limit. I mean, edge of the universe. As I say that, Leon have an attack. <laughs> And it's still in a very dangerous situation. They've got space in the box. They scored a goal, but it's offside. So, Leon have not got themselves back on level terms. And it still is a pretty evenly fought match. No team is, again, completely dominating. It's just, just a tight game. So, I'm thinking of a substitute. I think we're going to make one. We're going to bring Sadib Bay back. And we're going to bring on Hamza. 
give him his first start in the Champions League group stage. Just because Bart Moen's not playing well on a yellow card. Will drop Sadid Bay back. He's a little bit better in the centre of the pitch anyway. So that will hopefully improve. And I think after this highlight, we'll also make our last substitution. Of the, actually, no, we won't make our last substitution of the game. We'll just keep it the same. As Hamza's gone through and, oh my god, the young centre attacking mid should have given us a 2-0 lead and should have put the game beyond any reasonable doubt. So, yeah, we're going to make a substitution now just to waste a little bit of time. We'll take Musa Sonogo off or bring Mura Dijel on. Um, I did bring, over, I, I spoke about my transfer obviously last time. I did bring in a new backup striker, but Mura Dijel is still my second choice striker. Um... But on certain occasions, Miro Giselle will act as also the backup uh, attacking midfielder on left attack, left and right attacking midfielder. So that's when the other striker may be on the bench. As Leon are going to get themselves sent off. What a silly, silly decision there. For those who didn't see it, it was an off-the-ball incident. He just sort of tripped over our defender. So Leon have lost this game. They've got a man sent off. And we've got the perfect start to the group. We've beaten Leon away from home. And I think it's our time. I think... We're finally playing a formation that could allow us to go out there and just play our own football and focus on our own game and finally show off our decent attacking players because we've got decent attacking players in comparison to the top teams in Europe. So, 1-0, perfect start, ideal start. Actually, a little bit of news I can tell you right now before we cut to the next game against uh, FC Copenhagen at home is that rumours are that the takeover bid that I talk, spoke about last time Rumours are it's very close to happening, which I don't want. Don't do it. Don't do it, Carl Sanchez. Be a knob like you were to the fucking billionaire. Be a knob to the other guy. Wait for a billionaire to come in and then just take the offer. Don't, please don't sell the club to someone I don't want them to. But anyway, meet you guys back in a second for the FC Copenhagen game. All right, guys, so the FC Copenhagen game, Victoria Stadium, that's where we're going to be playing our home games this year in the league. One thing that is very annoying, though, is if we weren't for that stupid board takeover, we might be able to build a new stadium because we desperately need one. I'm going to go into the schedule quickly and just sort of point you out the fact that in the Pepe Reyes Cup, where we were at home, we had 5,000 people. In the first league game of the season against Lincoln, we had 4,972 people. That's only, what is that, 28 people from a capacity. You know, we need to be getting a new stadium for both Champions League revenue and domestically, because domestically, 5,000 isn't enough anymore, really. And I'm sure them 25 or 28 fans that weren't there were probably Lincoln fans, were probably um, Lincoln home fans. Our weight fans probably packed out. So, you know, we do need a new stadium, and hopefully, whatever happens with this board takeover, you know, whether it, it goes through or not in the future, we need one to go through so we can actually get that stadium built, because 2,000 in the Champions League is not good enough, because we could definitely be getting, I feel, five times more than that in the Champions League game. So yeah, this game against Copenhagen, it should be a win. I mean, I'm aiming for a win, obviously, after our victory against Lyon. I don't see why we shouldn't be beating FC Copenhagen. Something I saw, I meant, uh, something as well I said previously, which was wrong, was that Bakayoko was only out for a few weeks. I just checked on his injury afterwards. He's actually out for three months with a broken foot. I only thought he had a few weeks injury, but that was actually talking about Mati. So, uh, Vincent Matisse does come back into the lineup. He is now fit, not match fit, but he's fit enough to start. So he comes back into the starting lineup alongside Roma Perez, which means David Cameron drops back into uh, draw or drops to the bench anyway. Uh, but apart from that, it, it's the same team that played in the previous game, and I'm very, very confident. Leon, you know, top seeded team in our group to beat them away from home to um, one nil. I was going to say two nil then, but that goal uh, was wait, did we score two? God, I just played this a second ago. I can't even remember. Anyway, we beat Leon 1-0. And I don't like I, said, I, shouldn't, I don't see why we can't be beating FC Copenhagen. With Chelsea playing Leon as well, with Chelsea at home, it you know, we obviously we know what we want in that game. We'd probably want a Leon victory against Chelsea so we could go top of the group with this game today. But I am sort of think Leon might lose to Chelsea. So we want to win this game, try and keep pressure on Chelsea at the top. So I'm going to send the assistant there. I'm not going to answer that. Copenhagen have gone out there with a 4 2 3 1 variation like us, so it's very, very similar approaches to the game. Both of us clearly going out there to attack the game and to win the game by outscoring the opposition. Let's hope that we are the better team out of the two when it comes to doing that. And oh my god, the loud motorbike outside. Nice one, knob. <laughs> anyway, first highlight of the game 17 minutes in, and it's coming from our goal kick. Ball played forward, trying to find Maria. And just didn't have the pace to out to beat the fullback 
But the poor clearance from him does mean it comes back to us. But Moens is able to play it in the centre. Sadibe out wide to Hamerli. Can't get it through, but Hamerli gets the ball back. He shot finds the back of the net. We are 1-0 up against FC Copenhagen. And we move top of the group as Chelsea and Lyon are currently at 0-0. So, it um, great tack. Blake played by Hamerli as well to beat the fullback originally. I mean, he's passing into traffic there. Probably wouldn't have gone with a pass to Sonogo in that position. But either way, a little bit of luck means the ball bounces back to him and he's able to f slot it home. Beating Copenhagen. Great start to this game as another motorbike goes past outside. Hopefully you don't hear that one as loudly. <laughs> or at all, maybe. I don't know. All right, let's see another highlight for us. Bit of a hopeful ball forward or hopeless ball forward. Because it was going nowhere near Sonogo. But there's another chance. Here is Hamerli on that right-hand side yet again. Playing it to Moens. Who plays it through to Sonogo. Who makes it 2-0 Gibraltar United. 26 minutes into the game. We are already in a very comfortable position. We are controlling this game. Possession-wise. Shots-wise. We're all over FC Copenhagen. It's, it's, I think it's going to be a good game today. But Moens to Sidibe. Trying to find Hamerli. Can't. Amada. Hamerli gets it. Gets the shot away. 3 0 Gibraltar United. 30 minutes gone. How many minutes since we last scored? I mean, was it 4 or 5 minutes since we last scored? Wow. You know, I think the formation's working, lads. <laughs> I think the formation is working. Perez clearing it away. Let's try and keep a clean sheet in this match. We've got a clean sheet against Lyon, and I'd like to do it again today. Um, I don't see why Copenhagen would present. Or, yeah, I don't see why Copenhagen should score if we can keep a clean sheet against Lyon. I mean, okay, they did have a goal disallowed, but I mean, we should keep one here today. As we've got another chance of the attack, Hamerli still going, still going, unable to convert his hat trick. Chelsea take the lead in their game against Lyon, but with how, game, with how the games are going today, we would go top of the table due to goal difference. That's Sadibe trying to whip it in. Oh, man, I'm so, I'm, I'm so upset Hamerli didn't get his hat trick there. It was a beautiful run from him, and it would have just been perfect to have got his hat trick with probably the best goal of the game so far. But he's going to have to wait. I do think it's going to come, though. To me, it's just a matter of time. I think I'm going to bring on Hamza as well in this game. I'm going to probably give him 30 minutes in this match. With it being 3-0, it's definitely a good chance for him to play some more football at a higher level because he did play against Lincoln in our previous victory as Moria misses a very good opportunity. Our second click opportunity of the game is wasted. But yeah, Hamza uh, Benab Dahali, I think, he, I think his surname is. Yeah, he, he, he played in the Lincoln game before this match, which was a few days before uh, the weekend. And he played the full 90, I believe, I gave him. And he did quite well, but I'd like to give him a proper test against a, obviously, a lot better opposition. A better quality opposition. Although, based on the scoreline so far, <laughs> we're not too far off of getting the same one that we got against Lincoln. So, let's hope that we can we keep on pushing and we try and get Hamerli's hat-trick. Once he gets his hat-trick, I don't really mind at that point. But I'd love to get his hat-trick. And try and push him for like maybe top goal scoring into competition. I mean, why not? In fact, here he's going through. He's got to score this one. Oh my god! Another clear-cut opportunity wasted. How is it not 4-0? It's a deep base. Sonogo makes it 4-0. Sonogo is now on two goals. And now we've got two players fighting for the ball. Fighting for the first hat-trick. Sadibe with a beautiful cross in and Sonogo at the near post, you know, did the right thing. Just redirected the ball more than anything into the back of the net. So 4-0 at half time against FC Copenhagen. Wow. I mean, I expected a win, but I, I'd be lying if I said I expected it to be like this. I mean, the scoreline, you could maybe predict the scoreline, but we're so dominant. We're all over Copenhagen. They had to have a shot on target. I think that's a credit to the defence and the midfield in there, the defensive part of the midfield, for how well we're stopping Copenhagen. And then, of course, going forward, the attacking half of the pitch is great as, oh, Beres couldn't score, but Mati converts it. 5-0 Gibraltar United against FC Copenhagen. I think this will be our biggest ever win in a group stage. I think in any group stage, in any European competition, this will be our biggest win today. And there's still plenty of time to still go and try and get someone a hat-trick. <laughs> Alright, so I actually, I, I waited a little bit too long. I probably should have brought uh, Hamza on a little bit earlier. But what we'll do is we'll take Bart Moens off. We'll bring Hamza on. Is there anyone else I particularly want to bring on? I think we'll bring on Jakob Vanucci as well. And we'll make them two subs to the two young midfielders. And see what their impact of the game is. Here is Moens. Probably the last time we'll see him today. Will he get a shot away? He plays it to Maria who can't score. Moens have a shot. Can't 
get it through the crowd of bodies. We've had six click opportunities, ten half chances. You could ask for more goals. I mean, you probably sh I should be asking for more goals based on how many good opportunities we've had today. But 5-0 in the Champions League is a ridiculous scoreline anyway. These are meant to be the best teams in Europe and we're winning 5-0 in a single match. <laughs> I mean, it's very nearly the highest scoreline we've got in this competition alone this year. I mean, we beat uh, Trevina, whatever their name is, Trevana, 6-0. So we're only one goal off that. And this is the group stage. It's oh, Sonogo nearly flicked it on. So no one was able to get their hat-trick, which I'm a little disappointed with. I think um, both of the players deserved a hat-trick, Hamerli and Sonogo. But either way, 5-0 against FC Copenhagen. Chelsea won 2-0, but we go top of the group stages. Top of the group stage. Due to goal difference, due to the amount of goals we've scored, yet to concede in the group stage as well. Meaning going into the two Chelsea games in the middle of this group stage, we are in a very, very comfortable position. And you know what? Going into these Chelsea games, I don't see why we shouldn't be aiming for three points minimum. I mean, again, the away game is going to be very difficult and going to be tricky. But the home game should be a good one. It should be a good contest. So... Next time I will meet you back will be them Chelsea games. So until next time, guys, peace out.